What's up, everybody? Welcome to a game of MCSG with E-Storm. Today we're having a rare game on SG2. This map is barely ever played anymore. Um, long time ago it was played a lot, but that time is long past. And the only place I know to go is Pink House, and I'm not even sure if I'm going the right direction. So we'll see. I think I might be. I think I am. I am. Yes. I went the right direction. I don't... I'll be honest, I don't really know where Pink House is exactly, but I I just went the right way, so. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm unstoppable. Which house is Pink House? Is it, It's this way, isn't it? It's got to be this way. Yes, it's this way. All right, I'm going to get this house. Get away from my house. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Went to the right one. Where's the button? Where's the button? How do you open the door? This, this is the house, isn't it? It's right here is where it is, but how do you open it? Oh, I'm such a noob. I can't remember. Isn't there a lever? Yes. I'm actually going to get this. I've, I don't know if I've ever gotten this before, for real. Oh, yes. I got pink house. I feel so accomplished. I never get this. Like, never. Now I'm scared like some dude's just gonna come down and be like, raw. I always like this chest how it's like half a tier 2 and half tier 1. That's always kind of interesting to me. Oh, man. There's somebody up there. Over there. All this loot. It's just amazing. Now I know how it feels to get pink house like all to yourself. Feels good. <laughs> Can make like two irons. Oh, I don't have any sticks. Can you believe that? No sticks? No diamond either. That was five tier ones, I think. Or five tier twos and no diamonds. Yeah, good luck. We're doing it. You better have a stick for me, though. Nope, you didn't have a stick. He's mean. Wait, I should get rid of some of this really, really bad junk. Alright, um, I need a stick now. So that means I need tier 1s. <laughs> wow, that's that. Tier. Uh, <laughs> Pink House is a pretty nice place, I think. Like, I've always known that's the place to go. But this game, this map never gets played, and I haven't played long enough to be really playing when it was played all the time. Like, I, I started playing when it was just starting to, like, phase out, I guess. Like, it was still getting played some. But I never really... I had a different chest route on it, and then they nerfed all the chests. And my chest route basically went all the tier 1s. And so then I didn't really know where to go, but then it was never played anymore either. So I was like, whatever. And everybody's always like, yeah, I go Pink House. I'm like, yeah, I know. And, and yeah, I've played a few times and tried to find Pink House. And have always like ran the wrong way out of spawn. But this time, I went the right way. There's somebody with some decent stuff. Besides, oh, yeah, there's a tier 2 up on top of here. Actually, I know that. Sneak up on this jag and beat him up. He's probably got a stick or a diamond or something good, I think. I feel like he does. DAOs, he's got some stuff for me. So, something I want to talk about, though, while I'm just kind of chasing this dude, is I'm going to start doing this thing in my videos. I'm going to call... Um, PvP tips, and basically I'm just going to tell you some of what I've learned in my time playing MCSG of the best ways that, best things you can do to help you win MCSG, or just any Hunger Games really, although probably some of the tips might be a little more central to the Minecraft survival game servers themselves, but I'll try to, you know, yeah, you have no chance, <laughs> you have no chance, sucker. Ooh, that was a snipe. And he does have a diamond. Ah, and there's a crafting table right here. How perfect is that? Come on. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to start doing PvP tips. And, oh, I still don't have a stick? <laughs> what kind of a game is this? He had a stick. 
and boats. I could have broke the boats. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, I can just break boats. Yeah, give me that boat. Um, man, I have so much good stuff. All right, let's go make a diamond sword now. Um, but yeah, PvP tips. So my PvP tip for this video, and I'll be doing one of these every single Hunger Games video I ever do on my channel, unless it everybody hates it, and then maybe I'll stop because don't want to do something that everybody hates so the tip for this video you probably just saw what it's going to be it's going to be use your bow get good with a bow um also last video on chernobyl 2015 i used my bow and pretty much would have died without it so that's pretty much my tip is just get good with the bow and use it um bows they're kind of a tough thing to use I'll be honest but once you figure them out they are one of the best things you can use in this in the Hunger Games to help you win games I mean they do the damage of a diamond sword I mean the only the only drawback is the like load time if you like do the math diamond sword does more damage per like second or whatever because you can hit faster but I mean like when somebody run it when you get a few hits they're a great finishing weapon in the water they're absolutely just deadly. They're, they're just a great weapon overall, I think. Um, I'm not the best with a bow, but I've been trying to get better. And I've found that if you can, you know, get even just one bow shot in, I mean, that's like two hearts. You know, I mean, if they have armor, maybe one heart. But still, bows are just wicked weapons. And if you can master the archery skills, you will be a very dangerous PvPer. And I haven't even mastered them. I mean... Even, I think, even if you aren't, like, haven't mastered them, per se, if you just get good at them, where you can get some good boat, like, one shot every once in a while, you know, just to, s when you start a fight or at the end of a fight, just finishing shots and kind of leading up to shots, they can, ah, where's, I think it's, I see this lightning. It's in this direction somewhere. So I'm going to head over here, but even if you aren't great with a bow, you know, if you can just, when the guy is running straight, you know, straight away from you, it's super easy to hit him. You just point it at their back and pull back and shoot, really. And that can, you know, finish him off, just like it did for me in that last kill. Wow, only this is a fast game on SG, SG2. This map's usually so long. Oh! What? Already deathmatch? This is a really fast game. Oh, my. Oh! I, uh, I think I heard it this way, because I didn't see it. But I thought I heard it out of my left speaker, so I'm going to head this way. What is this? Games on SG2 are never this fast. Usually these are long games. That's part of the reason why nobody liked it, because it's kind of hard to... Kind of a pretty map, but it's hard to find people. I mean, I'll be honest. It's not easy to find people on this map. But this game went quick. I mean, we're only going to have one person to fight in Deathmatch. I think we should get a win here. I only have eight arrows. I mean, just something I guess that kind of goes along with the bow. Always craft arrows if you can. Um, you know, you get flint, feathers, and sticks. I see lots of people leave like feathers and flint in chests. Don't ever do that. <laughs> hey, buddy. I don't know how this is gonna go for him. Make it fair. I can't, dude. Sorry. There we go. See, he's already probably two hearts or three hearts down. And if I can just, like, I don't know. Like, I guess it's not really necessary here, but... Ah, but I can't hit him anyways, so... Um, and... Although, I would say you have to be careful about when you use your bows, because if you use them at the wrong times, they can't kill you. They can't hurt you or whatever. So, thank you for watching this lightning fast game on SG2. That felt almost like a Solar Frost game. <laughs> Not even going to lie. But, um, yeah, that was a good game. So, I hope you enjoyed this kind of almost a throwback game on a throwback map. And remember to use your bow. Leave some feedback, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.